All right, folks, what is going on? This is episode 692 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am VF Baller, where we talk about Georgia Southern and Atlanta Falcons football. And I just got off work, and I wanted to do this show, like, immediately as soon as I walked in the door. Came in, gave my wife a kiss, let my son know that I love him, let him know that I'm going to be hanging with him once I'm done. But uh, I really wanted to get this out of the way because this is very important when you look at the scheme of things. The Falcons found a way to win on the road despite all the, despite all the blunders. And you're looking at uh, the few games ahead, even though I think you should take it one game at a time, but it's not what we necessarily do here on this show. We, we try to look forward a little bit. And the Falcons can actually go on a run. I mean, a serious run. You look at the schedule, it is fairly easy. I know teams change from week to week, but if the Falcons play the way that they play, we could be looking at a, a, a really you know significant season for the Falcons. So we're going to talk about this. I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions. So if this is your first time here, welcome. I can be found on YouTube and Rumble. I'm also on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. I want to thank you guys for the support. We just got over 1470 as far as subscribers on YouTube, I think. We're almost at 1500. Uh, if you guys don't mind, hit that subscribe button so we can get closer to that. And you'll be updated and uh, notice when I have a put out uh, some content. If you hit that uh bell, that uh, you know that 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 notification bell. Also, um, just like the video as well. Like I said, uh, that helps as well. And you know, we're just trying to grow over here. And the guys that are on the podcast side, they're, they're killing it. You know, you look over there on Anchor and Spotify, you know, Google, Apple Podcasts. I mean, the numbers are looking great. I really appreciate the, the support. Um, I could be found on uh Twitter or X at VF Baller. Also, the website is firstandframerates dot com. First and pray rates.com. All right, let's look at this. The Falcons have the most, well, not the most, they have the easiest schedule left in the uh in the NFL. I think that every team that they play against is below 500. Also think that um I think the five I think the record is like 22 and 44 or something like that out of the rest of the teams. And we're about to go play the Titans. The Titans, um, their quarterback situation is kind of weird. And if you look at this entire list of quarterbacks that we played the biggest threat as far as quarterback that can do something to our defense is really is Kirk Cousins and um I don't know how to feel about that but you know because you you look at you look too far ahead and you you you, you be looking crazy because the team may wet the bed or the team that you're playing against may play higher than the, the, the to the standards that you would think they are you just never know but looking at this uh, schedule, it is very hard to say that the Falcons are going to go 7-10 and 10, like they did the last two seasons. I mean, you got to understand, they got to go 3-8. and eight. What was it, 3-8? Oh, yes, they have a, what, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 more games? Yeah, they got to they gotta go 3-7 and seven for the rest of the season just to go that. I, I, I don't see them going 3-7. and seven. At the best, they'll probably go. At the, I mean, at the worst, they they may go what like five and five or something like that. I, I mean, that that's just not even looking at the opponents. The way the Falcons play, especially on defense, I, I can see them going five hundred for the rest of the season. It give them an eight nine record, but they do have a very good chance to run the table. I mean, you look at the away games. Even though I talked about this before, if it's trouble ahead because they only got four. They, they only have four uh home games because you know they play better at home. But if the defense plays like they've been playing, and especially if Desmond Ritter could turn down the turnovers, every single game on here is winnable. I mean, like, seriously, unless if Aaron Rodgers come back, Derek Carr plays out of his mind, you know, if the Buccaneers actually get some revenge on us on uh, in week 14, you know, Kirk Cousins play lights out, you know, outside of that, every game is winnable. So this is a really big scenario because I was looking at this at one time like, okay, it's trouble ahead because you saw what happened with the Commanders game. And I'll be the first one to say after the Commanders game, I'm like, all right, these guys may only win like four more games, you know. But this team found a way to win in hostile territory against the Buccaneers, which was actually a fairly uh, uh, respectable team. Now they got over that hump that they're two and zero in the division. That first, they're two and zero in the division, first place in the division. And you look at what's ahead. You've seen what the Titans could do. You know they're not that they're not that good. And you see the Vikings. They actually beat the 49ers. so they're they're going to be somewhat of a threat. The rest of these teams on here, I don't see anything that scares the 
the, the that scares me. So the the Falcons, and, and I know a lot of people probably said this if you listen to this already, they could be the most fraudulent. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They could be the most fraudulent 12 and 5, fraudulent, you know, uh 13 and 4 team that we've seen in a long time. Because I I mean, this, I don't think that this is a Super Bowl team. I mean, who's kidding? We're still building in some cases. But I do like the defense. They're top five defense, and defense win championships. So I mean, you got a running game, you got a good defense. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not really going to put it out there, but I mean, I don't see it, but they do have the recipe. Top five defense, and you know they have a running game. Is it possible? You know what I mean? But I I, I mean, I not, I don't want to get too far ahead because, you know, week nine, we could be talking about the, the, the 10th turnover or the 12th turnover. Uh, Desmond Ritter is made and all of a sudden everything is is down in the toilet and once again you just never know things happen week to week everybody thought the 49ers was unstoppable until you know uh you know the Vikings beat them everybody thought Dallas was dead in the water till they came back the Eagles is like the only team that looks like they're going to be the team that's on point for the rest of the season why not the Falcons why why the Falcons can't be the same I mean I, I mean with this easy schedule is not far fetched they could go on a run. I, I'm, I'm dead serious when I say this, and this is very scary because I'm, I'm, I don't think Desmond Ritter is ready for that type of, you know, uh, pressure. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, the kid, you know, he's done great in college. He's been, he's found ways, found ways to bounce back after bad performances or bad situations, and maybe he may get too full of him i ain't gonna say full of himself but the, the team may get a little bit inflated because of the schedule i mean i don't know i mean it's clear that they could go on a run but it, it does have me nervous and i know a lot of other falcons fans may be nervous about this as well they should be you should be nervous when you see this because they're not playing quote-unquote elite teams i mean but like, like I said, who are the elite teams i mean i know dallas has an elite defense the eagles look really good we just lost to the Commanders. The 49ers uh, look good. I mean, you look in the AFC, the Dolphins are, you know, the Dolphins look really good. I mean, the Kansas City is always going to be Kansas City. So you got maybe like four teams, maybe five teams that the Falcons really have to worry about because none of those guys are on the schedule. And you know, the, you know, and, you know, none of those guys are on the schedule. So, it's a possibility. You you split. You may split with the Saints. And you may split with the Buccaneers. Or you may even sweep the Buccaneers. Uh, 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 you may sweep the Buccaneers, split with the Saints, and lose to the Vikings. That's 12-5. and five. Now, I don't see us losing to Chicago or um, the, the, the Colts. We shouldn't lose. Uh, we shouldn't lose to the Panthers. Uh, the Jets, the Jets have a good defense, and that's on the road. You know, the Cardinals, they're 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 okay. They're on the road. That's on the road, but I think we should beat the the you know we should beat the Titans. You know, and and, that, and this is the thing. It's like you look at this, and then we're gonna be like, like I said, the most fraudulent team because we're twelve and five, and then now the playoffs come and uh. Our first home game is probably going to be our first game of the uh, of the playoffs will probably be against like the 49ers or something, or it'll probably be against like the Seahawks or something. And then we don't know what to do. I mean, God forbid if we win a home playoff game. I mean, oh man, we, you know what I'm saying? Then we have to go up to Philly. Yeah, you know, it's like I I don't know, man. It's like don't get me wrong, I'm not against it, but it's just it just seemed very far fetched because even though I did say. I did say that. I'm I'm still on record of this. I I said that this team could go 14 and three if they had good quarterback play. I I felt like the team with the running game and um and the defense was that good. You get decent quarterback play. Nobody can barely not too many teams could beat you. But the quarterback play is in question. So now when you start looking at these next ten games, you're a little nervous. It's like holy crap! Even with Desmond Ritter's blunders, this could be a possibility. Like, seriously, 
and, and, and don't let him get better because if he gets better and don't make those mistakes, the next, if that's the case, the only loss will probably be against the Vikings, maybe against the Vikings. And I'm dead serious about that. Now, once again, and that, that, that gives you what, uh, 13 and four. I mean, and you on a winning streak that, that I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I know I'm thinking too far ahead, but it's just something to think about. You look at the schedule games are one week in and week out. Some teams are hot. Some teams are not. Some teams just have your number. Some teams just beat you on a certain day. You know, like I said, the Vikings beat the 49ers. Nobody saw that coming. You know, I mean, it, it happens. You know, to be honest with you, the Dolphins and the Eagles played, and the Eagles just outplayed the Dolphins. That game could have went either way, but the way they played, it made the Dolphins look like they're not even elite. And let's not even talk about the Buffalo Bills. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what, what are they doing right now? But I'm going to get out of here, man. I Like I said, I'll say this one more time, man. Two things. The divisional games are the divisional games. They are, we could split any of these divisional games because that's just how it is. And you look at this defense, top five defense, with the running game we have. You never know. If you like this commentary, the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think. Can the Falcons go on a run, even beyond the bye week? What do you guys think? Um, I'm just sitting here thinking. I'm not really sure. But um, this is something going to be really interesting to look at going down the road. I'm really interested but gotta take it one game at a time go look at the titans then the vikings and so on and so forth i could be found on uh, youtube and rumble i'm also on anchor spotify apple and google Podcasts. i want to thank you guys for the support i really really appreciate it i could be found on twitter or you call x at vf baller and the website is first and frame race.com and i know some people ask me cash app is down below if you want to support the show i really appreciate it it is not uh not uh, needed or is not uh, a big deal but it does help it does go a, a long way i really appreciate it all right y'all i'm gonna get out of here y'all take it easy and uh y'all be blessed peace